Hi everybody, I'm Banjo Joe and today we're going to talk about banjo maintenance. Banjo maintenance, very important for the banjo player. Uh, you got to have the, the head tight to get that tone. Uh, also the neck adjusted properly. So you've got the truss rod inside the neck that uh, you know controls the bow in the neck because really you want a little bit of a bow uh, and because so it won't buzz on the frets whenever you're uh, playing on the neck and uh, there's also ways to tilt the neck up and down and to adjust it side by side to keep the fretboard level with the uh, picking plane here and uh, so head head tightening is, is important to keep to keep your uh, banjo sounding bright and pretty and uh, you know it's all preference to how much tight you want it but uh, uh, you can kind of squeeze you know squeeze your banjo with your thumb a little bit and you just want it to just barely give you don't want it so tight it's hard you want a little bit of give in there I think you know I do and uh, you don't want too tight this is a plastic head right here and uh, you don't want it to pop so uh, they'll stretch you over time and become loose and your banjo will get like kind of a you know mellower tone you don't get that bright uh, picking uh, that you want so you gotta keep the head tightened so, uh, there's so many nuts and bolts on a banjo you know they become loose over time so you've got to just check it uh, periodically especially as the head stretches and uh, the tension off of these hoop uh, hooks uh, it's less and less, you know, and all that vibration. These nuts, you got, to, you got, to, you got to tighten your banjo. You just got to do it every now and then. Make sure everything's snug. You know, while we're talking about maintenance, another thing that's important uh, with the banjo is keep your fingernails trim. Uh, you, you know, you'll you'll gouge out your fretboard a lot sooner unless you keep your claws trimmed. You know. So uh, today, this banjo, it's an old Epiphone 250. Uh, I bought years ago. And uh, I'm getting a buzz on my D string because the fretboard had tilted slightly like that and brought up the uh, fifth string side a little bit high. I want to do a quick disclaimer here. I am not an expert. I'm learning as I go, and I've done these things to my banjos before and had good results. Uh, you're doing everything at your own risk, man. You go, you go do your own thing. But this is what I do. All right, are you square on that? You're not gonna be mad at me when you. Break the neck off your banjo. Tell them Banjo Joe said. Banjo Joe, do do do, I'll get you, I'll get you. All right. On the back, when you take, take the resonator off, and then you've got two bars in the back of the banjo. And the one closest to the head is solely to uh, fix the neck to the, to the pot. And then the bottom one uh, pushes against the heel of the neck here to uh, tilt the neck up or down like that, depending on how much you loosen or tighten it. Uh, so to to move the neck, to take the neck off even, you, you, you just unscrew both of these uh, rods. Now uh, there's there's nuts on the ends of them here that you'll use to tighten it to, once it's all done. The adjustments are done, you can tighten these down to secure both ends, you know, that'll keep the rod in place permanently. So one of the reasons that this neck is uh, twisted is just because you know the banjo bodies are so heavy with that tone ring all that metal in there you know picking your banjo up by the neck and swinging it like that and just trying to throw the strap on it's uh it'll it'll eventually move your neck around so you're gonna have to do this or pay somebody to so when you're picking your banjo up try to do it by the strap that's around the body you know uh, instead of by the neck the best you can the having the neck solidly attached to the body uh, gives you that powerful tone you want it to be a solid piece so what i've done is uh, loosen the nuts on this end so I could turn these. Now, these rods have a tiny hole in here, and what I've done, I made a tool. I have an old tiny screwdriver I had. I just uh, cut the end off, and uh, the bend kind of helps me hook it in the little hole. Put something through there, and then you can turn the rod. What I've done is I've, I've unscrewed them out of the neck enough where I can move the neck. I really have to torque this neck where I want it pretty hard to get it to stay. It doesn't naturally want to be there. Maybe it will after I've had it tightened down for a while. This thing was in uh, storage for several years. I uh, upgraded to a Deering and uh, this, this is just my backup banjo. So I'm just, I'm just doing it by sight. Now I can see the end of the neck here and it's just slightly higher. Against the whiteness of the uh, banjo head you can really, you know, you can really see if you can eyeball, you know, if you can see a hair with your naked eye then uh, you can see that much width difference, you know. So if you kind of focus and look, it's a little higher on one side than the other. I can, I can kind of see whenever I twist the neck back that the neck is level with the head. So I've just been doing it by eye because it's, it's obviously off. 
uh, you might have to use some type of measurement if you don't have that kind of uh, eye the old carpenter's eye what I'm going to do is I'm going to, to uh, twist the neck with this hand to get it where I want it I'll have this tool inside the back of the head to tighten down these rods uh, while I hold it with my uh, other hand here where I want it in case you forgot righty tidy lefty loosey we'll go ahead and get the tool and what you want to do you want to tighten the one closest to the head first and that'll hold it secure and then you can come back and tighten up this lower one so you gotta hold your mouth right like my grandpa used to say check here mm -hmm. it's not really where I want it so I want to try it again Well, it's better than it's been right there. You can really see it's flat with the head, and that's what I want. Mm-hmm. It's looking good, so now I'm going to tighten up the uh, bottom rod. Get it in some good light so you can really see. It looks to me like I've leveled it pretty good. Yeah, it looks to be about flat all the way across. So now, just gonna tighten these up. Thanks for watching, I'm Banjo Joe. Like and subscribe, and don't forget that uh, the Banjo Joe Show episodes come out every Sunday. Thanks for watching, see y'all later, bye. Fixed it. I fixed it.